What's up, people? Welcome back. Well, I thought I would take a quick look at Ubuntu before I went to bed. This is Ubuntu 14.04. Uh, I will not be doing a full installation test on this. I just don't think it's necessary. In a word, Ubuntu is simple. And in a second word, I suppose, functionality. Uh, if you are coming from a Windows XP environment and wanted to salvage that old piece of hardware, Zubuntu, Zubuntu should be at least a consideration on your list. But let's go ahead and take a look at this. This is the default desktop here. Now, uh, one thing, a nice thing about Linux distributions, you can try it uh, before you install it. You can try and see if you like it before you do any kind of installation. All right. Well, if we if we right click here, of course, you have many many options here. Let's go to Desktop Settings, and you have choices of wallpaper here, including some other options for menus and icons. I do like the default gray theme. As you see here, one thing you might notice is the functionality or multiple functionality, such as going from the left to minimize or move, or you can have buttons also on the right to escape. All right, we have the time and date, and we have the volume controls with the music player integration, in this case, G Music Browser. Let's get out of that. Let's go ahead and take a look at the sound settings real quick very very user friendly playback recording output devices input you can see my microphone here and configuration again if you're coming from a windows pc you shouldn't have any problems whatsoever with this uh, one thing i do like about the top panel uh, among other things is, is the ability to right click and add little pieces of software or applets something that is not available in ubuntu's unity with the top top panels you see here i kind of missed that but with ubuntu for example you right click panel add new items and you can add anything that you want to for example if we scroll down uh, yeah let's do notes add and we can escape out of that and you can type in any anything that you want of course if I escape out of that it leaves the little note icon here at the top right so you can add other you know reminder notes or whatever that you would like to do undo and escape out of that. All right, let's move on to the left. This is called the whisker menu. I really, really like this whisker menu. Very functionable, functionable. Uh, functionality again is the key. A nice little search feature, search bar here at the top. I guess something similar to Windows 7. Web browser, these are just some of the shortcuts here. Mail reader, file manager. Let's go take a look at the file manager real quick. Again, it's what you see is what you get if you're coming from a Windows environment. Again, this should be very, very easy to navigate through. Self-explanatory. I really like this a lot. Uh, let's go ahead and do a, um, yeah, I believe Firefox is installed by default. Yeah, let's go ahead and click that. Boots right up. Again, even in a virtual environment. Let's see. I don't think we should have any issues. Um, navigating to any websites. Go ahead and take a look and, see, and look at the Total OS Today um, shop website. And it boots uh, right up. Or it comes right up. And uh, by the way, if you haven't already, go ahead and um, vote uh, for the latest poll. Is Ubuntu going in the right direction? The latest toss cast is up with me and Infinitely Galactic. By the way, next month marks, uh, marks three years of the very first podcast that we did together. So hopefully we'll have another one here in May. All right, well, let's get a move right along. Again, we looked at the whisker menu. Very, very easy. like this a lot. You have the shortcut icons here on the screen. The file system, home. And if you wanted to install this, they recommend, according to the website, they recommend that the, the developers recommend a gigabyte of RAM, which is somewhat hefty. Now, I will not be installing this, but again, this is self explanatory. Uh, you can install this with, I believe, as little as 512 megabytes of RAM. Uh, I don't know how smooth it will run. If all you have is 512 megabytes of RAM, you may want to. Uh, Maybe take a look at Lubuntu with an L, but if you have a gig, this one should run perfectly, you know, fine. So, yeah, absolutely. Take a look at this. This is definitely, I think, a little bit more user-friendly than Ubuntu, what I currently have, you know, now here. But, 
again if you have at least a gigabyte of RAM uh, or at least 512 megabytes of RAM to install this preferably a gig definitely take a look at Zubuntu if you have two or four or more gigabytes of RAM then you may want to take a look at Unity what I'm uh, currently using now that's it for this uh, take a look at this if you had Windows XP and want to salvage that machine I think you will like this a lot all right well that's it for this one uh, if you have subscribed welcome aboard all of the new subscribers greatly appreciated and if you haven't already please consider a small donation to keep uh, this channel running it will be greatly appreciated I'll have all the links below in the show notes thank you so much again and as always I will catch all of you sometime in the future